What is going on, fellow fans of Clash of Clans? Thank you so much for spending, no, investing a few minutes of your day with me as today. Well, yes, we're back at it again. And the special offers, I don't know. Maybe they think I'm a sucker. Okay, fine. I'm going to buy them all. You know I'm going to, you, you know. I mean, we're fixing the rush, but whenever these packages show up, we are going to take advantage of it because, I mean, come on, you know? They're there for a reason. They're there for Galadon to uh, pay the bills so that you guys can play for free. But anyway, all right, hashtag Gembang. That's right, it's not Mukbang, it's Gembang. And we are going to pick up every possible package. I'll tell you right now, from today until this account is a maxed out Town Hall 12 or when Town Hall 13 is released, I will buy every package that shows up in the shop, I promise you, every single one. If you remember, in the earlier days, like a long time ago, like maybe close to a year ago, when these packages first started coming out, some of the bigger packages you could buy more than once. Uh, I'm wondering if they're going to bring that back. All right, so let's go ahead. Remember last episode, we talked about trying to get the Warden to level 20. So that is kind of the goal right here. That and, and Miners. I mean... This is, this is a tough choice right here because, you know, there's a lot of things to spend Elixir on. And like Klaus mentioned, if you remember, Klaus, the original trademark owner of Fix That Rush, he said that Elixir is probably the most important resource when you're trying to fix a rushed village. And he's absolutely right. Obviously, I need a lot of gold for the defenses, but when it comes to upgrading those troops you need to upgrade your troops in order to have the attacking strength to get the loot right it's kind of this vicious cycle so if you fall behind on attacking strength no matter how bad you are on defense you're not going to be able to fix that rush unless you build up the ability to grab the loot and that again is what we're doing with this account i'm not just going to go out and buy tons of loot okay that just doesn't feel right to me although okay Let's let's be honest. I'm going to be honest with you guys because I always do my best to be straightforward with you. I, I'm thinking at some point I will break down and we'll do a massive spend on a bunch of resources. But, you know, again, this is something that I would like to hear feedback from you, the viewer, about. Is that something you would like to see? True hashtag gem bang where I'm not just buying packages, but we might have to go out and say buy, I don't know, $500 worth of gems in one episode just to get a few major upgrades done. I don't know. It's up to you guys if you would like to see that. Obviously, remember, we've got the pure farming. If you want to see pure, unadulterated, un-gem enhanced farming, then watch for the Town Hall 10 series that I've got going because that, of course, is Klaus and my little project where we are competing with each other. It's friendly competition, but at the same time, we both would love nothing more than to completely max out Town Hall 10 without having to buy gems. And remember, this is the same Town Hall 10 that used to be at Town Hall 9 that we farmed all the way through Town Hall 9 on. So we can do it at Town Hall 10 as well. For this account though, I mean, come on, it's pretty brutally rushed. I mean, as bad as we see some rushed bases are out there, I'm almost always worse. It's very rare that I've gotten to the point now where I can find a Town Hall 12 that looks worse than mine. They always look better. So at some point in the future, it'll be fun to start to see Town Hall 12s that I can laugh at and go, ah, you're rushed. I'm not. Okay, fine. That's still a long ways away. All right, so anyway, we're picking up some pretty solid raids. If you guys remember, we did kind of mess around with the farming army. We've decided to go back to Lunion for now. I feel like it is the most efficient overall because it gets you through the core of bases. You can just attack more bases and grab the three stars. So I kind of feel like there's this nice little balance of let's Lunion our way up the ladder of trophies and then Barch our way back down and then Lunion up, Barch down. And of course there's always Dark Elixir sniping in between or on the way down that we can do that if we want to drop back down. But I'm really feeling it. I'm really feeling like the sweet spot even for this account, and it's funny because my Town Hall 10 also really likes being in like Master 1, Master 2 as far as loot is concerned. And now my Town Hall 12 seems to be seeing that same experience. So I'm, I'm curious if there's some 11s out there that might be doing the same. But right now it feels like Master 1, Master 2 just about the ideal spot in which to farm the big 
numbers. And speaking of big numbers, it's over 9,000. That's right. Now, remember, the most Dark Elixir that you can possibly get in one raid, not including the League bonus, and this is something a lot of people don't realize, it is exactly 9,710. That's the most Dark Elixir anybody can get in a single raid as of right now until, well, Town Hall 13 comes out. So this base was a little bit tougher than normally the type of base I would go after. I might pass a base like this, but with sheer numbers, with the availability of loot that there was in this raid, I thought, you know what, let's just go for it. And I feel like the dragons are actually helping me out quite a bit. The dragons get in there and they kind of lead the way. They're going to help tank for the balloons a little bit you know it's not quite like having lava hounds in there but it works and it doesn't cost dark elixir because once again trying to boost the hero levels my theory here is that if i get the king and the queen leveled up even more that then at some point soon i'll be able to take all comers meaning i will be able to crush pretty much any base and we won't have to hold back and wonder and worry but right now with these level 30 something heroes it just doesn't feel the same. And what I mean is, you know, the maxed out account that I have that I play on in Clan Wars and CWL, man, level 60 heroes feel good. So those of you that are working towards those higher level heroes, trust me when I tell you they are amazing once they are maxed out. All right. So yes, I'm not above the occasional dark elixir snipe. No, I did not mean to drop the warden there to get the job done, but it worked out. The warden's going to help out a little bit. The arch queen is too. And we quit. We walk away with 2800 dark elixir in about like what i don't know 10 seconds okay then there's cases like this where once again it looks like i'm not the only one you can see the uh, tombstones everywhere but here we've got a couple of, actually all three dark elixir drills are up in the top right so why people are going down to the bottom left i don't even know come on let's get that dark elixir people so i need a couple extra units this time to help get the king and the queen both in there but again it works out pretty well again it's like a 20 second raid and we walk away with almost 2,500 dark. Okay, here we go. Back to the progress base, and it's time. It's time for some mass upgrading. We've got almost completely filled gold storage, and although I'm still trying to avoid buying resources, I'm not opposed to buying the time to finish said upgrades. So let's go. Here we go. With cannons, getting them all the way up, well, okay, all the way up to level 5, but all of the cannons all at once. And then Archer Towers as well. They're going to level 5. And not bad. See, things are still pretty cheap right now. The Wizard Towers obviously a little bit more. And that one did take care of most of my gold. And then we're going to get these air defenses all up to, I think it's level 4. Uh, there we go. Okay. So now we're broke. There you go. We have, we have almost no gold left. And now we need to spend the elixir and the dark elixir because remember, I've said this before in other farming videos, logging out broke is the way to go. If you can log out broke, do it. So let's see. Miner level three, five days left. Ah, you know, hold on. Let's see here. I've got, I want to see how many of these books I have. I've got 13 books of fighting. Okay. I've got plenty of books of fighting. We can use these books. So let's go ahead and finish this minor upgrade. And then, all right. Ah, we need we need 6.8 million. And I'm at 6.6. .6. We're so... Oh, wait a minute. Hello. Don't forget the treasury. Don't forget the treasury. Thank you, treasury. Now, here we go. And another book, of course. So boom, baby. That's the bomb diggity. Level four miners. Okay, not really. We, we want to get to level five, but we'll get there. Oh, level six. Okay, fine. Level six miners and I'll be really happy. And uh, let's see what else. We're going to use some dark elixir. We want to... Oh boy, let's see. You know what? I actually don't have minions maxed out on this account yet. And I'm thinking that might be the way to go. Let me double check. Yeah, I think... Yeah, let's go ahead and max... Oh, that's it. Okay, finally. Maxed out minions. MOMs. Moms for short. There you go. We used another book. So now we're down to what? 10 books? That's okay. 10 books of fighting I can deal with. And wow, that's about it. I mean, we've we've gotten ourselves down there. We don't have a lot left to spend. And uh, I feel like this is probably a good place to wrap things up. But seeing as we have defenses up to level 5, I feel like it's about time to get the walls going. I mean, these poor level 3 walls. Let's make myself look a little bit less 
of a noob. All right, time to go to the status report. That's right, where we review the total spent in the lifetime of this series. We are at $374.77. It's getting up there. And then total time spent, all of the farming and moving the base around. We are now up to 14 hours. Okay, and let's review. Next episode, I'm kind of hoping for these goals to happen. I want to, like I said, do the big wall upgrades, get a bunch of those walls done, and I would love to see a level 20 warden. Let me know what you guys think. As always, thank you guys for sticking around all the way to the end of the blizzle frist of the episode. You're the true hashtag Galifam. Now get out there. Make the best of the rest of your day. I appreciate your time here, but go appreciate your time out there. And of course, spend it being kind to people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. What is a blizzle frisk?